Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capellan Jr. Needless to say, always wishing you a good day. Guys, today, the scope of this video tutorial is to show you how you are going to connect uh, LDPS and a differential pressure transmitter to a controller okay so what i'm having here now guys is a train uc 400 uh, controller okay so the, actually this is backnet okay so meaning i can connect it to my existing system and try to uh, integrate it with my building management system okay now but the scope of this tutorial is just to show you how is the how are you going to connect this uh, DPS to your backnet controllers, okay? Then how are you going to connect also uh, this uh, differential pressure transmitter to your uh, backnet controllers, okay? Now first, let's see how are we going to do the wiring, okay? So guys, by the way, uh, as a BMS engineer, one of your scopes is to do the uh, cable takeoff, okay? Now, we have what we call BMS uh, monitoring cables, okay? Now, in my previous projects, we are using Belden cable, okay? So for monitoring points, we are pulling Belden cable, okay? Now, as I said, this will be one of your scopes. Meaning, you will be the one, as a BMS engineer, you will be the one to do the takeoff for the cable requirement of the project. Meaning, you will try to estimate how many rolls of cable you need to provide in a project, okay? Now, this is a big issue also in a project because if uh, you don't do it properly, then you will be having problem, okay? Because these cables, especially these cables, are ordered from abroad. Let's say if you are in Qatar, maybe the cables will come from Dubai or other countries, okay? Or Turkey. Then, of course, uh, there are some uh, travel time. So you need to properly do the homework by... Uh, doing the correct uh, cable takeoff or the cable requirement of the project. Now, how are you going to do that one? Of course, first, you need to know what are the field devices like this one. I have here uh, air differential pressure switch. So, what are the cables or how many core cable I need to pull from my controller to this field device? Okay. So, like this one, you need a cable, two core cable, okay? Now, for the distance, then that's another issue, okay? So, let's see for this differential pressure transmitter, okay? So, as you can see here, uh, I have provided here, okay, let me, let's see if I can do the, okay? So, as you can see here, I have provided here how many cables, okay? So, wait a minute. Let me move it a little, okay? I have used a short cable, okay? Short wire. Now, as you can see here, guys, I've used here how many core cable? I have used here four core cable. I mean four wires, okay? So, you can use here uh, two core cable, two numbers, okay? Because one for the power supply, three and one will be intended for the power supply which is 24 volts then 3 and 2 is for the uh, signal output for the uh, temp, uh, the differential pressure reading okay so it will be 0 to 10 volts then you have to do some scaling in your system okay so I need one cable here two core okay let me again I hope it's uh, clear. Okay, so I need uh, one cable, two core here. Then uh, I need 
two cables, two cores. So meaning, or if you can uh, find a cable with four cores, then you can use it here. Okay. Now actually, you don't need any shield here. Okay. So guys, uh, for the length of the cable, uh, actually, you can use the shop drawing. Let's say this one is installed in a certain area. Then your DDC is located in a certain area. Then your problem is how are you going to calculate the length of the cable? And likewise, you need to do also where is this one is installed. Then you can check the uh, as built or no, not the as built, the shop drawing for the uh, equipment. Let's say you are using this in one air handling unit. Okay. So basically, the field devices will be installed in the AHU. Then your controller, there will be one panel for the controller. So you need to uh, see to it. You can ask your foreman or your technician to check what will be the length of the cables that I need to pull. They have to consider the bend and they have to consider the roots. Okay, so uh, cable take off is a little bit uh, you know uh, time consuming. Okay, now uh, in my projects, uh, actually this is one of my uh, big problem when I'm doing the cable take off because in our company, if you will order, uh, let's say your order is not enough to cover all the control and monitoring points for your BMS, then you will have problem. Because, as you know, in the project, uh, there is deadline, okay? So, you need to order the cables on time, okay? Then, sufficient enough to cover all the BMS control and monitoring points. Because if not, it will be a big problem for you. You might not be able to finish your... Uh, second fix we have in the project we are calling first fix second fix then third fix okay now i think this one belongs to the second fix cable pulling first is containment of course you need also to consider containment these cables should be inside maybe trunking or gi pipes okay then actually this works you can uh, give this work to your foreman as an engineer this is not actually your big problem. If you have a good for BMS foreman and technician, then they can help you with the uh, cable take off and with the uh, uh, containment. Okay, so first you need to do the containment, then the panel installation, then the cable pulling, then termination. Okay, so today what I'm going to show you is how I'm going to terminate it in my uh, controller. Okay, now, my controller is a UC400. Actually, this is a train controller, okay? Now, this train controller, as you can see, this is a very good controller because there are so many uh, points in this one. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 analog inputs, okay? Then, we have here also 2 analog outputs. Then, we have here 2 universal inputs okay then we have also here binary input i think there are three binary inputs here then we have here uh, how many three binary output then we have here uh, triac output how many uh, one two three four five six six triacs output then three binary outputs uh, five analog inputs, two, uh, two universal inputs, two analog outputs, then I think three binary inputs, okay? Now, uh, actually, what I did here, I connected my differential pressure switch, the normally open contact to the binary input, okay? Because binary, meaning this is just... Uh, on off open or close okay so i use it in my b1 bi1 okay so bi1 here bi1 now for my uh, differential pressure transmitter since i'm going to receive 
the differential pressure reading. Okay? So, I need to connect it in my analog input. Okay? So, this is how you're going to connect. Now, make sure uh, to uh, check the proper termination. So, this symbol represents the common. Okay? Or the ground. But this one is common. Then, the A1 is the signal. Okay? So, signal is the 0 to 10 volts. Then, this one is the uh, common. Okay? Now, you can also connect it in a universal input. Because universal input, as you know, we are using it also for uh, digital or analog input. So, you can use also universal input. But now, I decided to connect it in analog input number 1. Okay? Then, for the differential pressure switch, binary input number 1. Okay? Now, this is not enough. You need to do some configuration. Because analog input... Uh, you need to configure the channel. This is you, you can call this also uh, binary input one, uh, input channel one. So binary input channel two. Okay. So meaning you need to configure for digital. Uh, no need to configure, but for the analog input, you need to configure it. Is it a voltage input? In this case, this is voltage input zero to ten volts. Because you can also there are some differential pressure transmitter which is the output is current so you will have to configure it if it is a current input or it, is it a temperature input okay so there are several types of input so you need to configure it so that you will get the proper reading then you have to do some engineering or scaling let's say 0 to 10 volts okay now how are you going to do the scaling the engineering now uh, as you can see here the maximum range is 50 millibar. So, meaning, if you will receive a 0 volts here, meaning 0 millibar. Okay? Then, if you will receive a 10 volts DC here, meaning it's in the maximum range, 50 millibar. So, you have to configure that one in your computer or in your BMS workstation. Okay? So, you need also to do proper configuration of the channels. Okay? So, again, uh, this is a backnet controller, okay? Now, of course, uh, if you are the BMS engineer, you have to address properly your backnet controller because you need to input also the this one if you want to monitor the control and monitoring points associated in this uh, UC400. Actually, this is a train controller, UC400. Now, this UC400, you can use it for VAB application and other small HVAC equipment control and monitoring. Okay? Maybe you can use this also in FCU. But this UC400 is very good for VAB application. Okay? Now, guys, so what we have done for this tutorial, I have shown you how you will uh, pull cable from field device to the controller for differential pressure switch then for differential pressure transmitter you need to provide first power then you need to get the uh, output signal of this which is the current differential pressure as being read by this device okay then how are you going to connect the output signal to your controller so you need to put it or you need to use the analog input channel or you can use also the universal input channel but again you need to do some configuration so that you can properly display the value being monitored by this controller okay so Guys, uh, maybe the next part of this is I'm going to connect this in a live system. Then we will create a simple graphics. How are you going to uh, represent this information in your building management system? Okay, so that will be part, uh, the second part of this tutorial. So again, guys, as I said, Thank you very much for watching and I do hope uh, I'm helping you, especially those new engineers and those who are uh, really interested in the field of building automation. So once again, thank you for joining me and this is your host, Santos Capitan Jr. Always ending the tutorial by saying God bless us all. Let's all be safe and 
Bye for now.